Shador Sanders was interviewed today, or what, maybe it was yesterday, but he says that we are everyone's Super Bowl. This guy, this guy, he and Sabrina Ionescu must be hanging out. Because she said that Caitlin Clark playing her was Clark's Super Bowl, and we all know that Sabrina playing Clark is really Sabrina's Super Bowl with how they defend her 94. Shador Sanders. Shador and Prime are the gift that's going to keep on giving for four months. Has this man not educated his son yet on common sense? I mean, but you, know, you got to look at the bravado that Dion has. It's trickled down to his kids. He, he... Dion was on 11 and 1 Florida State teams. They were 4 and 8 yeah. last year. Yeah. They lost seven of their last eight games they were the second most penalized team in the country they had no running game to the point where all of their running backs decided to transfer Shador holds the ball way too long and this man is going to get on a microphone and say in all the things that he said nothing was wrong until he says yeah you know we're everyone's Super Bowl bro and then he says we, you know when, 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 when that's what I've been saying since we, we were on HBCU at Jackson State you're not we were undefeated it. in the SWAC. You're not like, well, it. you weren't undefeated in HBCUs because you lost the Celebration Bowl twice to the MIAT. So you were not an undefeated HBCU team. And everyone knows that your team was fucking stacked, loaded in comparison to everybody else. And you lost the Celebration Bowl twice as a favorite, a big favorite, no doubt. And you're four and eight last year. Your team was trash. And you're jumping on here talking about you're everyone's Super Bowl. No, yeah, you know what? No, every team wants to kick the shit out of you because of your mouth. They want to kick your ass because of your mouth. Not because they think you're that good or they think your team is that good. Yes, there's explosion on your offense because of the way football's played today, period. You guys can score points, but you can't run the ball. And unless you show a running game, y'all will be 4-8 and eight again. Their best think their cap is six and six. I know you think you said eight and four. Eight and four. I, I think their cap is six and six. But if they can't run the ball, they're gonna go four and eight again. That's what they'll be. They play North Dakota State to start the season. Deion Sanders actually said uh, today, North Dakota State is good every year. Every, North Dakota State is one of the best Division One AA programs every in the country. Year. Every year, they've won countless national championships. They don't give a fuck. They will have no fear of Colorado. I think this was a very, very dangerous game. I don't know if Dion was joking or not, but he's like, I don't know why you scheduled this to start off the season. Give me a layup. I think he was serious. I don't think he was joking. I think he was dead-ass serious. If you lose to North Dakota State on your home field to open the season, it ain't going to get better. I don't know. North Dakota State's really good. They're still Division I AA. If you lose to North Dakota State to start the season, when you're talking about you're a Heisman Trophy candidate and you're a, a, a top five draft pick in in the NFL next year, it, he's not. But they've trying to convince they're trying to convince us like they're trying to convince us about Bronny James. Um, <laughs>